Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. Rob couldn't be here today. So uh, we got to figure some stuff out with Rob, and he should be on hopefully the next episode. When you went through, I almost said Rob because I was waiting for You're him. You're waiting for him, I was like, yeah. and <laughs> So yeah. uh, what's first on the agenda? Shots, gentlemen. Cheers. Hey, man, to reach breaking 25K. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank, Thank you, you guys, by the way. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't suck, huh? Oh, it's spicy. It is pretty spicy, huh? Hitting that jack. Um, so, yeah, uh, reach breaking 25,000 streams, bro. That's amazing. That's Thank you good. guys so much. Still getting messages from you guys and stuff like that, which will never get old. Thank you for sharing your stories with us when it comes to why you guys connect with that song. I just showed Danny another one today. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we fucking love it, man. Thank you so much. You know, um, as far as new stuff coming out. Yeah. Uh, we can announce the date of the next one, right? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to wait very long, guys. 420. 420. You spark one up and listen to our new single. Fine. I'll do it myself. Because uh, that shit's going to be dropping on 420. I can't wait for that one, dude. Yeah. Uh, so that's the name of the song? Yep. Okay. Fine, I'll, fine, I'll do it myself. He's like, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, like, he's like was... it's, not in, it's not India? <laughs> <laughs> what are we calling this song now? Because I haven't saved under something else. <laughs> yeah. Our uh, code names. Yeah. Uh, but go, yeah. Go into, go into your code names. How do you name our music when, you're, when we're working on stuff? Usually when we start up like a batch of songs, like I go like, okay, I'm going to write a group of songs. I usually pick like, say for instance, an animal. Mm. And then I go through the alphabet that way and I'll pick like aardvark and baboon, baboon. and caterpillar. And so yeah. some of these songs before we name them and they're dropped and all that stuff, we know of them from a different name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's gone with animals. He's gone with states. I told him next batch, do uh, WWE 80s wrestlers, dude. Yeah. Do that. That's, That's a good one. I've That's tried. I've, I've always wanted to do dinosaurs, but then dinosaur names get all just fucking crazy yeah. silly. And you're like. After T Rex, I'm I'm done. Yeah, dude. it's you know like I mean? a fucking. I can spell half this shit, right? Dip a lock yeah. a lick a lot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I gotta say that a all lick day. a lot of puss, dog. Lick a lot of. <laughs> it's up there with that uh, queef gum. Queef gum. <laughs> queef gum. Is that like the uh, the uh, state of uh, queefs? Queef gum. Like, <laughs> queef gum. <laughs> yeah, um, he does that so that we're not like, hey, that one song. It's just easier to... Well, I don't like to give them any uh, kind of any idea. Yeah. You know, I like to kind of hand it to you guys as a blank slate. So I don't... I never even thought of it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know cool. some people when they write a song, like they'll write, they'll name a song a certain way and kick it to the guys in the band, kind of like setting the tone. Yeah. And I kind of like want to allow you guys to... This one's called Boners. This one's called Boners. That's what's yeah. up. Otherwise That's cool, they'd man. all be called Aardvark and Boner and... Yeah. You know, so so yeah, so 420 is our next single. We might, I think we might drop another one in between that and dropping our album. We're dropping a full album this year. Yeah, um, it's going to be a little bit of our older stuff, but the stuff that we've already released, mixed with I think three or four new songs, three of them, possibly four. But uh, yeah, I think in between um, when the album between now and when the album releases, there should be five total new songs. I believe. I believe and, so. And I think there's a version of another song that yeah I don't know what we're doing with it yet, but we'll get there with that for sure. Yeah. So it's already mixed and yeah. Mastered. We putting covers on this thing? I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. well, I think it depends how much. Room this is how we, we do. This is how we discuss stuff. We right on the podcast, dude. Just, just, <laughs> okay. Right here, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited. Honestly, uh, so I what happened was so we'll go a little, a little bit deeper into this. I had posted a teaser for Save Yourself. Mm -hmm. didn't, I didn't put a date on it. I just put coming soon. Um, I'll do that every once in a while with just whatever we're working on just to ask, you know, just to tease stuff. Yeah. And then Rob's like, are we releasing that next? And I was like, no, I just said coming soon. It was just a teaser just to have some sort of content up on TikTok. Cause if you don't post regularly, they stop pushing your content. Yeah. So which isn't going to matter very soon. Apparently it's getting banned, but we'll see. <laughs> so, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So we had that conversation and he was like, I think that that should be put on the album. And I was like, that's a, a fine. I mean, that song fucking rips, dude. I, that's probably one of my favorite sounding mixes that we've gotten back so far yeah. out, out of anything that we've done. 
it just sounds so big and so like ah, man. And then fucking Rob's in no days. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I think I think Rob sees it as we have there's two songs that we we're sitting on that that I think one really is like highlights Rob. Yeah, and then one is the opposite and, for me. Yeah, and highlights myself. Yeah. And so I think the idea is if we release both of those, we kind of. Cover we, it with what we feel is kind of you. Because when you drop an album, I think you can pick two singles. Yeah. To like, I think Pandora does. Yeah, it that something way. like that. So the theory being, we would the singles for the album before it drops would be uh, "Save Yourself" and uh, "All the Same." So yes, yeah. But uh, I'm so excited for this new stuff, man! And seriously, yeah. can't wait. Yeah, Josh, what are your thoughts? I'm still confused on what the name of the damn song is. <laughs> so, Fine, I'll Do It Myself is a reference to Thanos. Okay. At the end of uh, the first Avengers, when he puts on the glove, he's like, fine, I'll do it myself. It's, that's, it's a reference. It's a Thanos reference. Yeah. So, and when I said it, and Robin was like, that's fucking cool. I was like, thank God. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I really wanted to name well, it. That makes sense. Yeah. So, being what the song's about and stuff, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, man. You guys want to talk a little Jane Weiberg? Yeah, so yeah. I hear uh, there's a... I, okay, so I heard that there's a bit of like a, a kind of shift in a, yeah, and it if, involves if it, if several bands, I believe. If it's true, there's an actual joke of a circle. Oh, or okay. a, I, I didn't hear all this. A, a triangle yeah. that... Fill us in, Josh. If it's true that Eloy is actually going to be the drummer of Slipknot, okay, then he left Sepultura to join Slipknot. Meanwhile, the guy who is in Sepultura now, Grayson, used to be the drummer of Suicidal Tendencies. <laughs> so it's just He chairs. left Suicidal Tendencies to join Sepultura and help them out. But now Jay becoming the drummer of Suicidal Tendencies. It's like they all just swap just bands. Uh, that's wild. <laughs> like a ro- it just rotated. Uh, that's pretty cool. wild. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, I'm interested to see what he brings to suicidal tendencies. You know. Yeah, and yeah. I don't, I don't know if at this point it's all that's all 100. percent Like, I don't know. I think there's a lot of speculation, and I don't I think it's been. I think officially it's been announced, announced, but I think everybody's yeah. like, yeah. "This is what." So happening. the source that I read it on was Metal Injection, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, that was like just the extent of what I saw. Of, like, he, you know, he's joining suicidal tendencies. If it's all true, that's dope. Good for Jay. Yeah. You know. We'll never know the full story of the whole Slipknot thing, but I still feel like he got kind of the shit end of the stick on that one. Yeah. So, like, it's nice to see him get back on his feet, dust himself off. And apparently the dude had a bunch of surgeries to do and stuff, too. Yeah, so. yeah, something with his hip. Yeah. So That it took a while. So <clears throat> I hope that wasn't the reason why, dude. Like, oh, you're going to take time off? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> see you later, bro. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, man, no, that's, that's fucking cool, dude. I... Um, I'm not like a huge suicidal tendencies fan, but I know of, I know their music, everything I've heard, I've always liked. So, but to see, it's always interesting when a new member comes in, especially like a drummer, because a, a drummer can totally change the vibe of your of the band. You know? Yeah. I think uh, I think as far as like band members being swapped out of a band that changed the band dramatically would be the drummer and singer. You know, like they kind of almost become something completely different. So it'd be cool to see what they do, you know? Yeah. Uh, What about you, Josh? What do you think about that? If it's true and they all switch bands the way it did, that would be interesting to see just because they've already had cover versions of Eloy playing Slipknot songs. So I don't doubt it's going to sound good. It'll just be how are the fans going to accept him? I'm sure that'll go fine. But... (laughs) Jay was suicidal. I don't see that being a problem just because he's comfortable playing stuff like that. And he's playing with infectious grooves right now, too, which okay. is not too far off of what suicidal plays. Grayson can pretty much go to any band he wants to. For sure. I don't think he could play Slipknot as well because he's not a double bass drummer. He can play it, but he's not built for that. He's a hands do. Oh, okay. So it would be a, he could fill in if necessary. I'm sure he would have done it. But for him going from suicidal to sepultura it's a good jump for him Mm -hmm. and like doing it on a couple days notice that's pretty awesome yeah yeah what about you daniel final thoughts sir i I just think it's wild the whole shift there you know um and i I think they're all going to do well i mean you know i mean like whether whether uh it it kind of you know moves some things around as far as tone for some of the bands but you know i think some of these bands are really established anyway so some of these drummers are going to kind of come in knowing what you know, 
And yeah. for Grayson being as young as he is to be the drummer on their farewell tour, supposedly, that's got to be pretty awesome for him for like a once in a lifetime thing. For sure. Most like each band he's joined has just been bigger and bigger. Not that Suicidal wasn't that big, but... It's a different type of big, though. Yeah. Yeah, different type of... And they're all going to be huge arena shows that he's got to play now because Sepultura is not going to play anything small on their farewell tour. Right, definitely. I didn't know it was their farewell tour. <clears throat> uh, that's cool. That's why it was kind of like, what the hell? He quit the band two, three days before they were supposed to start the farewell tour and didn't say anything to them. Like, they were going to start rehearsals and just showed up and said, yeah, um, I'm going to be leaving. Oh, I'm not going to do this. And they weren't apparently aware of it. So he just quit on the spot, and then they had to find somebody to come in that week and replace him. Damn. Man. Yikes. That shit would give me so much anxiety, dude, just trying to, like... Hey, I'm not going to do it anymore without giving anybody any kind of notice, dude. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that, bro. <laughs> Some of the fans, I guess, took it personal because he had been with the band for a couple years. And it's like, bro, how could you not tell them? Yeah. Like, whatever you're doing, regardless if you don't want to do the farewell tour, because it's like, why didn't you stick around for that last tour? Slipknot mm -hmm. could have waited. Well, maybe that was his only chance. If he really is doing Slipknot, I think he is. Yeah. I honestly think he is. It fits. And it would be... He's a different style than Jay that I think he would fit better. <clears throat> he has more of the hand and percussion work that they like, that they got with Joey, that you didn't really get so much with Jay. Oh, for sure. So I think it would fit better with him. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, we got there's some tours and shows coming up pretty soon, so I'm sure we're going to have announcements at, you know. Yeah. At some point coming up, right? Well, uh, no more. Yeah. But uh, Dude. Venetian. One more time? Venetian, Vegas. Did you hear about the uh did you hear about this guy? This story's fucking wild, dude. Go for it, Daddy. So this guy, California guy from uh he's at the Venetian and staying in one of the rooms, and I guess he gets bit by a scorpion. Stung. Stung. Sorry, stung by a scorpion. Same thing. On his nutsack. On his fucking sack, dude. I don't um, couldn't I couldn't imagine, bro. On per purpose? Apparently it was in his Pants? He like was sleeping, I guess. Oh, he said, he, it, said yeah. it, he, it, it said it was in his bed, and it, I don't, I don't know if maybe the dude was sleeping naked or what, but like he fucking got in there, yeah, fucking stung him up, dude. I couldn't imagine, bro. Fuck. And the thing is, said they comped his room. It was like that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's like, bro, comp my room, bro. That was it, <laughs> that was it dude. What I want to know is, is he gonna get like superpowers now? Right, dude. <laughs> fucking Scorpion King and shit. Like, fucking, <laughs> fucking pito up, like, fucking. <laughs> what? He's all fucking pitoso walking around, dude. Uh, <laughs> Scorpion dick. Yeah. I wonder if it, I wonder if everything King. swelled up, bro. You know. <laughs> Take advantage of that for a bit. <laughs> Give a little more mask. <laughs> You ever see, you ever hear the, like the, there's like this, uh, it's like a story that went around for a while, a while ago that was like, scientists confirmed that like a bee sting on your penis can permanently enlarge your penis. For, and, then like, and then like it shows like, uh, I, I've heard it shows that. Kylo Ren, he's like, I know what I need to do, but I don't know if I'm st strong enough to do it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you know, you know there's people that do I mean, Bro, you know there's somebody out there gotta just be somebody balls deep like, in a beehive, bro, fucking going for it. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit I'm just saying the crazy world we live in somebody's 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 probably, done, it, probably dude. done it somebody's probably dude there's people do some wild shit just cause oh I heard this will do that my uncle was told that if you eat raw onions you'll have a boy you'll have a girl I'm sorry you'll have a girl cause he wanted a daughter my aunt had five boys and for like <laughs> and during one of those and during right before that before one of the pregnancies he was eating raw onions like crazy because he had heard the myth that if you eat raw onions before conceiving, you'll have a girl. So he happened? was eating raw onions. He was eating them like fucking apples. Didn't dude. they tell him that she's supposed to eat the onions? <laughs> was it her? I don't <laughs> know. I was trying to figure out the science behind this. Yeah. Can we find out a bro. poll? Is it true? <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed <laughs> to eat the onions, yeah. not him. Doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, dude, I couldn't, bro. Eating a... a I barely like onions. So now. how did this turn out? Man. Five boys. Five boys, dude. <laughs> it didn't my aunt work. had five boys, man. So she, apparently, not all at once, but they, they, had, they had a, periodically through her life, she's had five boys. She, all she ever, all she, all she wanted was a daughter, too. Did I remember? Uh, she would knit. She she had started knitting like a pink blanket every time she got pregnant, and everything she would find out it was a boy. Was Die a, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Should have got that scorpion bite. Yeah. Got that, bro, maybe she if uh, he would have got bit in the fucking <laughs> testes of the scorpion, dude. Yeah. 
That's good shit. That's good shit. Dude. That's a fear factor no. episode. Oh, yeah. It went away. Mm-hmm. It's right here. Where we at? Uh, Fallout. Oh, dude, yeah. Fallout's got a new you, series. It's a series or a movie? It's a series. I yeah. think it's, it's on Prime. On um, Prime. Yeah. I so have, I haven't technically seen the tr- like a full trailer. I've seen bits and pieces of it on Instagram, though, and it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Uh, I've played, I think, there's is there five of them? There's a bunch. Oh, then, there's, then there's like Fallout 76 and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, there's that. There's I've, I, I got and... really into Fallout 4. Fallout mm-hmm. 4 was awesome Fallout because... Was uh, I liked it. <clears throat> the way I played it was something had glitched on the Xbox one, one year. And for some reason, that game was available to download for free. And the Xbox didn't catch the glitch till like a month in. And then like they pulled it from everybody that had downloaded it for free. So for a month. <laughs> so for, just... But I, I passed it in the, in the month, you know, <laughs> like, so like I, I passed the game for free. It's a cool game because I mean, it's one of those games you could just play. Yeah. You know, it's awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah it just keeps the, old, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's like first person. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of first person video games cause I get nauseous. Okay. So I can only play them in like hour increments without feeling like I got a barf, but you play yeah. Fallout? You like Fallout? I've never played no? it. No? Nah. It's pretty good. It's cool. It's like post-apocalyptic type stuff. Um, yeah. They're also doing, uh, they've released a, I think they released a trailer for the Borderlands movie that's coming out. Have you seen? Oh, there's a movie for that. Yeah. I think I might have seen something. About it looks that. awesome. Yeah. Uh, they uh, they, uh, they just the announced like, Jamie Lee Curtis or whatever. Um, Now I'm going to draw a blank on the cast and I don't have my phone to Google it. But... Uh, believe like Jack Black's in it. I think he does the voice of a robot or something like that. Or, But uh, I'm, I might be getting confused with another movie, but I, I, I want to see the Borderlands movie. That looks awesome too. Yeah. yeah. That game's also a lot of fun. I never got into those. Um, the only thing I don't like border, about Borderlands is that you can't like position yourself against something to like bl- fire over things. You just always crouched and... It's that was the one thing that like kind of pulled me out of the game because like I like the slide against the wall, Gears of War style. You know, like you can hug things and walk side by side with it. And yeah. So you just crouch in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, so like you just kind of like crouch, but everyone's still blasting you because you're not exactly hitting behind. hidden behind anything. You're like so everyone's still you're just getting blasted on. But yeah, <clears throat> interesting. Yeah, and on the one more movie topic, I saw Ricky Stenicki uh, okay. yesterday. And this was, uh, it's a new movie on Prime. It's with John Cena, um, Zac Efron, uh, Andrew Santino. And I don't remember the fourth guy's name, but it was pretty damn funny. It's, if you just want a good fucking popcorn, I'm going to laugh my ass off type movie, I, I highly recommend Ricky Snicky. Uh Cena has really honed in on his comedy acting. He's amazing at it. He plays, uh, so what the, the premise of the movie... <clears throat> what did he do on the show last night? Came out naked, apparently. I saw some yeah, shit. Yeah, he walked out naked and it said, if Cena wins, we riot on like a little sign over him. <laughs> so, which is a WWE reference because they always say that in the crowd. Nobody ever rioted. He won all the time, you know? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> he never did that. Never, the fans are full that of shit. That part wasn't dude. in the These guys are fucking pussies, dude. Never rioted. But, like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the premise of the movie is great. It's, uh, so it's Andrew Santino and uh, the other two actors that are with them. They're like three best friends growing up. And in the beginning of the movie, they accidentally, they're like trick-or-treating and they accidentally burn down a house. So as they're running away, one of the kids goes, I got an idea, give me your jacket. And he writes a name on the jacket and it just happens to be Ricky Stenicki that he wrote on it. And so... Their whole lives, anytime they got into trouble, they blame it on Ricky Stenicki. Okay. And so, and so, as they get as they grow into adults, they uh, they use it as an excuse to go see like some some show. Oh, that guy, the uh, that guy that always does the DJ shit. The uh, let me in, I'm trying to fuck that dude. Okay. They go to see him in concert. Okay, they go to see that dude. They go to see, go really? see that dude in a concert. And while they're there, when they go on these trips, they had told them that Ricky Stenicki was battling cancer. So they were going to go help their friend. And it was to get out of one of their baby showers. So they were going to go. And they're like, they're like, oh, no, you guys need to go be with your friend. He's dying of cancer. Go, we understand. And they go. <laughs> and they go. And while they're at the concert, his wife goes in to labor six weeks early. Oh. So they come back. And everybody's like, we called every hospital. There's no Ricky Stenicki. What's going on? 
while they were out there, they ran into John Cena, who happens to be a like a karaoke, like wannabe actor guy. And uh, <laughs> they hire him to play Ricky to Nikki. And, it, and he comes in and it's just fucking amazing, dude. It's so good. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a great movie, dude. It's, I got some homework to do. Yeah, it's it's awesome. <clears throat> I had never heard about it. Apparently, uh, Cena did some amazing marketing for it, though. He started an, o- an OnlyFans as Ricky Stadicki, so like, to like promote the movie. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, did you guys hear about uh, this uh, fight coming up, bro? <laughs> did you hear about this, dude? Oh, okay, man. Jake Paul. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Tyson. Let's talk about it. You go first because I got some shit to say about it. Have yeah. you? Ha- I mean, have you seen some of those videos of Mike Tyson training? At 55 compared to Jake Paul. And they showed Jake Paul. All I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say is, all I'm gonna say is, I, I'm gonna say I think Mike Tyson is, is still, still would put you on your ass. So I'm just gonna Danny, say I don't, I don't think he's gonna have it easy. I wouldn't want to get hit by Mike Tyson if he was 103, bro. I wouldn't want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would not. No. No. And so here's the thing. There's always the fucking rumor that... It would that, be cool to fuck around. Yeah. But I don't want him hitting me full no. on. You know. Like there's always the whole. Jake Paul pays off his opponents to take a diet for him. If that's true, Tyson. you'll be okay. But I hope to God it's not because I just want Tyson to fuck that dude up so bad, dude. Two punches, bro. He's out. <laughs> Tyson's had some fights where it literally bell rang and the guy's on the ground. Yeah. And I'm just going to say I'm... Yeah. And I got to say, if it doesn't go that way, he clearly paid off Mike Tyson just to fucking... Yeah, or or Mike Tyson's like in the contract yeah. and all that. It's like, hey, let's let's put on a. How do you feel about you know, these? Like, uh, let's go. These sideshow celebrity boxing things now, like they're like all the time. That's, I think I hear about those more than actual boxing matches these days. You know, yeah. and that, I mean they sell crazy pay per views buys, which is why they'll continue to do it. But that's weird to me, isn't it? Yeah, to me, it's, yeah. I don't know. People like, want to watch it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. I coming mean, from a guy who watches professional wrestling, I, I fucking like, you know, I get it, but like, I know what I'm paying for. I know that that shit's predetermined. You know what I mean? Right. These guys are out there claiming to actually fight each other, and Jake Paul's paying people to take a dive for him. So, yeah, it's. Do you know when that fight is? In no, I don't. July. It's in July. Oh, July, so it's coming up already. It's July 10th or whatever. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. funny. I just. Yeah, dude, seeing Tyson spar now, dude, is yeah. crazy, dude. It's yeah. He's so fast still, dude. I couldn't... Yeah, homie could catch a fart and paint it green, dude. You know what I mean? Fuck it. I wouldn't want to go against him. I don't think he's going to beat the crap out of him. Like, I think he'll hold back a little bit, but I hope he doesn't take money to throw the fight because I think that would change the perspective for a lot of people for Tyson now. Like I hope he takes the money and then says, fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> just, just, fucking him and just starts ripping them, dude. Right. <laughs> just Or like Jake Paul accidentally fucking lays one in and Mike Tyson's just like, nah, dog. We didn't talk about that. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I would understand Tyson signing some kind of contract that said like, let's go to third fourth round let's guarantee a, we we're both fighting this long in it and then i think i think it's I think tyson would just yeah it's yeah. fucking wild dude yeah uh <laughs> so speaking of farts like i just said right now <laughs> this fucking story had me dying dude uh you sent me this was it you that sent me the video on tiktok i think so it was <laughs> It was what a, a guy got busted in Missouri. In Missouri, by the police, and the reason why the police found him is because he farted and so it loud. smelled yeah, so yeah. bad. And they, heard they heard it and then they smelt and it they and they f- found him, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, I guess if I were to. Give myself away. I've been known to clear a room or two. <laughs> but it's because of what I eat, because I don't eat meat. And I guess my go to combo to clear out a room is uh, quiche and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, yeah. That, that not one. like as one, not Rob ice cream type shit, uh, but like I'll I eat a quiche. It and then, yeah. <laughs> Just throw a couple it. of hard boiled eggs in there. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not allowed to eat hard boiled eggs. I'll be thankful I never did that at practice because I did it to Steve before. Amanda was so happy that I didn't have any fucking deviled eggs for Thanksgiving this year. I was so mad. I got to the party. I got to the party. I was like, what's the fucking deviled gone. eggs, dude? What's good? Man, what is going on? You know? But yeah, dude, that is hilarious. And 
the fact that like the police department tweeted about it, like, yep, it actually happened. That's like this though. is this is real, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, like this really happened. <laughs> I could believe it. I could. Oh, so man. uh St. Patrick's Day. Coming up Sunday. So I was talking to Danny about this and I was like, do any do you know what St. Patrick's Day is all about? Because I don't. As far as I know, it's about green beer, leprechauns, lucky charms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Growing so, up in America, that's kind of what yeah. that's yeah. St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Yeah. Just like yeah. in America, single the mile, go to a bar, beer, tacos. Tacos. <laughs> lucky tacos. You know? <laughs> so do you do you have any idea what St. Patrick's Day is? I don't even celebrate it. I don't drink. Okay. I remember years we played shows together. Yeah, those are always fun. Those are always fun shows to play. But Mm -hmm. as far as the knowledge, no. Mm -mm. So fill us in, Danny. Let us know. Oh, I can't read this right now, bro. I can't. (laughs) uh, Well, then slide it to me, and I'll read it because I it's it's not on the TV anymore. So, all righty, guys. So apparently, uh, celebrated on March seventeenth. That checks out. It's this Sunday. Uh, It is. It honors Saint Patrick, uh, the saint of Ireland. Uh, in modern day festivities filled with leprechauns and shit, it says, uh, I don't know. It how. has early 17th century roots as a religious holiday, which is uh, celebrating uh, Christianity coming to Ireland. And that's hilarious to me that it's a celebration of Christianity and everybody's just like, let's fucking get fucked up, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Green beer. Green beer. Fucking. Yeah, dude. Any, any reason to, uh, to break the rules, right? Any reason, dude. You know, green yeah. beer is not a sin, yeah. right? It's, is it? I don't know. I mean, even if it is, right? Whatever. Whatever, dude. Who decided to change the beer green, though? Yeah, that's it. Why, why is green the color? Because I- Ireland and four-leaf clovers and yeah. leprechauns and shit, right? Then yeah. leprechauns, aren't they always, like, in green? Yeah, dude. Do you Little think top hat thing? How many leprechauns could you fight before... <laughs> Wait, leprechauns from the fucking the horror movie leprechaun? Uh, I don't think I could fight one. That dude would just like... Yeah, that dude. No, just like regular like Lucky Charm leprechauns, dude. You mean Willow? Willow. Okay, how many Willows you taking down? Dude, dude, Willow's could, an awesome movie, by the way. I could probably kick hard enough to like stop somebody's heart. <laughs> I could kick. So like, I got at least probably a few good kicks before you get dogpiled. Yeah. I think what's going to mess me up is, like you said, you kick them, but, like, eventually I'm going to, like, trip and fall. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. And if I hit the floor, it's done, dude. Yeah. Because I'm not getting up that fast. I think if you stay up and you, you know, you keep, you know, kicking. (laughs) Yeah, you keep kicking. Just Yeah. yeah, Because I think once I, like, I don't know, like, three or four of them get a hold of you, I think, uh... Yeah. Do do we give them weapons? Are they, they allowed to bench? bite? Can they, they bite? Because if they can like latch on and bite, dude. Depends on what type of weapon. Because you have to think of their small shillelaghs, dude. Big weapon. A fucking spork. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Depends on the weapon. <laughs> give them a spork, <laughs> bro. A fucking spork will fuck you up, dude. That's <laughs> spork fight. How do he die? He's got a spork in his neck. Fucking celebrity spork fight matches. We could have Tyson and. We man, go at it, dude. With the <laughs> Why we man? <laughs> St. Patty's Day, dude. We man versus hospital. Sorry, bro. We man. I apologize. We man. Hey, Amen. We man, if you're watching, man. We, we man, if you're watching, I loved it when you kicked yourself in the forehead, dude. That shit was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite videos ever on the internet. <laughs> it was outside the RV, right? Where he just walks up. And- I hear Bam's doing okay. Good for Have him. You seen I that? hope I hope that he's doing better. I've seen guy him is... like skateboarding and shit recently, and yeah. that's that's cool to see him doing okay. Um, yeah, doing apparently better, he right? like cut everybody off out of his life though, dude. Like he doesn't talk to anybody. Yeah. But um, so I guess so. Steve O, just this, I think it was maybe two WrestleManias ago, mm-hmm. where Johnny Knoxville wrestled in a match. Yeah, did. And he so Steve O was Steve-O there. Did some crazy flipping uh, shit. So Steve O was there, and there there was a mutual friend. That um, oh no, he he's friends with Darby Allen from AEW is what it is. Okay, so he's friends with Darby Allen, and Darby Allen is friends with Bam. Okay, and he told Darby like, hey, you know, uh, tell my boy I said what's up. You know, I miss him, whatever, like that. Yeah, and I guess Bam like fucking lost his shit about it. Like, like you fucking 
you give him my number, this and that, or whatever. You know, like, he's, like, fucking got really heated about it. He's like, no, bro, I was just relaying the message, you know? Your boy misses you. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to sobriety and stuff like that, dude, if you feel you got to cut people out of your life to do what you need to do to better yourself, fucking Sometimes it, you got to be selfish. Sometimes man. you got to do it, man. You got to do you it. You got to be selfish to, to better yourself. Well, like I said, it's good to see in that dude, like, riding a skateboard and, like... Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. yeah. Oh, was it the one where he did, like, that spin flip thingy and he landed it and he's like yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah it's just it's just yeah. a, like to see that guy go through as much you know shit as he was doing you know yeah for sure we cutting it let's do it alrighty you guys this has been the last this has just been the last days of Warcast thank you guys so much for listening please do us a favor check out all of our social media links link in the bio check out some merch we love you.